Another day, another send. <laughs> what am I doing today? Well, getting packed up, getting out of I here. I wasn't actually gonna even be fishing. I was gonna go watch my mom ride horses, but so happens that right next to where she's riding, there's a musky lake and a musky river right there. I mean, it kind of worked out. So I was like, wait, I'm definitely fishing. That's the sound that starts up almost every one of these trips. Um, a cool quote I thought of last night when I was going to bed. Today, you don't think you could be someone you dreamed of tomorrow, but tomorrow you could become the person you dreamed of today. Wow, it's torrential right now. I'm just getting out to the river right now. Oh my, whoa! What else are we gonna do other than go fishing? I don't know. I kinda hope it stays like this, it's kinda sick. The storm kinda passed through really quick, but for a second there, there was no way to stay dry. Welcome back to another adventure. This creek that I'm looking at right now, that I'm walking down to, has musky in it. Never landed a musky. I mean, it's a fish of 10,000 casts. I have taken well over 10,000 casts for musky. Probably verging on 20, 30,000 casts. Never caught one of these things. So, we'll see if today's the day, eh? Very interesting looking creek. I do not know how I feel about this creek. Yeah, so I'm just gonna wander around this stream Explore it a little bit. The venture is always where the cool things are found on these trips. It takes a little bit of doing exactly this. <laughs> what not many other people would consider doing in order to find something. When we walked down this trail that was once a dry trail, it's not always what you see. You gotta have an open mind and try some interesting things sometimes. I guess that's just the broader definition of exploring, and that's how you might find something. Or you'll find nothing, but there's, there's a chance you find something in the nothing. Oh, that was pretty deep. I don't think there's ever been a soggy footprint that I've taken that I've ever regretted. Every step out here, it leads to something. If I know it or not, if I ever see it or not. If you think about it plain and simple like this, there's a lot of land on this planet that is undeveloped, unexplored and for the most part goes totally unseen by people i'm figuring this place out it looks like somewhere it looks like water that you could fish the risk oftentimes leads to the highest reward it also leads for the highest chance of failure i don't know i'm kind of giving you my whole rundown thought process as i'm going as i find seeing as i go i'll preface this by saying before i take gas we haven't gotten rain in a while. We've got a torrential storm. The fish have been like waiting for this moment. It just stirs things up. Storms are changes. Fish want change. Fish want food. Food means that things gotta get stirred up. So yeah, what the hell are we gonna catch in here? I just caught a clump of, clump of weed. Oh my God, this water's freezing. Frigid. So my friends, the muskie might re remain the fish of 20,000 casts and counting without a catch. And I, I just gotta be okay with that. I just gotta harness the fact that I'm in, I'm in a crazy looking, cool, desolate, almost like apocalyptic kind of place. Hold up. That's a catfish skeleton. I think, look at these pine trees. They have like little buds on them. Like, wow. Yeah, this is dandy being out here. When it comes down to it, that's what these adventures are. It's me coming out here. Enjoying what life has to offer for me. This is what I this is what life has to offer for me. This is what I found. It's really the most enjoyable thing all the time. The heron's down there. Yeah, so that's a really good sign. Honestly, recently if I've been seeing a heron anywhere near where I'm fishing, it means I'm on the right track. The sun's poking back out. It's really warm to be honest. Alright, this looks this is what a little bit of soaking wet would get you. Wow, is this water warm? Feels like a wow. bathtub. Truly. I mean, these colors are so vibrant. What you see with your own eyes is artwork at every single moment. And something we can oftentimes forget. We want to take pictures of everything and videos of everything as I'm taking a video of what I'm doing. But, geez, man. <laughs> we are literally living in such an amazing, amazing place. Another heron. <laughs> okay, good. Good indeed. I'm curious now. Now I'm starting to get curious. And yet again, had no idea what awaited and 
it's something different all of a sudden. Without further ado, I'm uh, I'm navigating up to another quite large basin to try to fish. But if there are fish in there that are willing to bite, that's more of the question. So once I start roaming, there's almost no turning back for the most part. Okay. It's like, okay, I'm over here, so <laughs> I need to check it all out. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna hike it back. I'm trucking it on. Did not look like this when I got here. I can tell you that. Much different conditions. That's what's so cool about being out in the world we live in is that it's always changing. Things are always on the, the shift. And you can see my, my trunk from the two seconds of having opened, soaked a puddle in there. Pretty, pretty gnarly. I'm gonna get some dry clothes on now and uh, rip it on to another spot. That's it. Sometimes that's all you can do. Just keep on fishing.